when we have this deep connection with ourselves and when we have this deep love for our bodies, we understand the limitless possibilities that our physical existence in this world has. And like, again, the system is designed to make you always look for the lack. It's designed to make you always feel like you're sick. It's designed to make you always look for the things that are wrong. And what we don't actually realize is how incredibly powerful our natural body and our physical body can be and is every single second of every single day. And so what we actually have is this innate ability to fight these things that are coming towards us to fight the fear to fight the sea to fight the um sensationalism to fight this like a low vibe frequency that keeps pulling us down into those states where we feel like we have no power we have these abilities deep within us it's like embedded in our being and all we have to do is tap into that and it's not just like about tapping into your frequency it's not just about physical immunity to fight the sea. It's not about being mentally strong. You are an entire being with multi, -la you're multi-layered. Like it's not about just one layer. It's about finding the, the connection of all of the layers to create this inner strength and to come back to self, to really know your health, your worth, how powerful you truly are, and to stand in that and not keep getting dragged back down. And this is where I'm seeing a lot of people making decisions about the V is from that place where they're getting dragged back down into the, my body can't fight this. I can't fight this. I'm keep, I keep getting dragged back down into this fear state. I'm not mentally strong enough to handle this if it does come to me. And it's just not true. So the more that we connect into our innate power and the more that we come back to our like solidity in ourselves, the more power that we have to not even have those things in our awareness. They might be there on the outside, but they're not consuming us and they're not there to like drag us back down. So first of all, I just wanna talk about physical immunity. So 70% of our immune system lives within the microbiome of our gut system, our digestive system. So it's really about learning about our body and how to really biohack it so that you can supercharge that immunity. And so many people, I would say like 70 or 80% of the population have digestive issues that probably aren't even aware because they're just so disconnected from their body. So what, what I would suggest doing is first of all, going and getting a probiotic and taking that every morning, um, preferably between seven and probably nine in the morning because that is when your earth element i.e the stomach is it is at its most strongest point and if you haven't heard me talk about five element theory before it's part of chinese medicine theory and the earth element is the stomach and spleen and it's also very very powerful to create a solid foundation for all of the other elements to exist harmoniously in our body. Our earth element is coming under attack every single day, like most of the elements. And so to strengthen that, we really need to be able to tap into what foods are good for the earth element and how am I really nurturing that? So it's simple things like in Chinese medicine, there's this theory that the digestive fire needs to be stoked. And so when we eat a lot of raw, cold drinks and foods, if you eat a lot of salads and fruits, but don't follow it up with like something warm, like a tea. If you're um, diminishing your fire with sugar and fats and, and bad oils, then you're literally suppressing the ability of the digestive fire to burn and create energy and really process all of these nutrients in those foods or in the foods that you are eating that are actually good for you. So what you can do is eat more warm foods. So instead of a salad, maybe eat vegetables. Or if you're going to have a salad, drink a hot cup of tea with it or after it. In the morning between 7 and let's say 11 is the time when your spleen is most active and then your, uh, sorry, your stomach is most active and then your spleen. And they're the two organs of the earth element. 
So the more that we can bring this element back into balance, the better off our microbiome is going to be and then the better our immunity becomes. I also, as you guys know, I love my Healy and I run the stomach and spleen programs almost daily because I'm actually an earth constitution, which means that my main element and therefore my biggest weakness, but also my biggest power is in my earth element. And I've had digestive issues over the past couple of years and that's why now this finally going because I've been nurturing my earth element. So if you want to know more about this, either reach out to me or go and search five element theory, um, Chinese medicine on Google and just learn about the elements and, but also find information on how to balance the earth element out and also your other elements too, because most likely you have more than one imbalance. Everyone's out of balance in some way. But the more that you understand your body and the more that you understand your immune system and your immunity, the more that you can nurture it and therefore strengthen your natural ability to fight the sea or to fight anything that comes your way. So that's the first thing. The second thing is not becoming an energetic match to the sea. Like this sounds a bit woo, but if you're constantly like, what, what do we know about the sea, right? Like the sea is literally fear. It is fear. It is control and manipulation, like all of these things. And I'm just speaking about energetically, right? It's designed to thin out the population. It's designed to make you disconnected from your higher self. It is designed to make you question yourself, your ability to fight anything that comes your way. It is designed to make you feel weak and insecure. So if you already feel like that, you're already an energetic match to Corona to the sea <laughs> that I'm not saying that like if you're in fear you're gonna get it like that's so not what I'm saying but you are literally if you're operating on that same frequency more times than not then you are upping your susceptibility when we can step into our power when we can step out of those states of fear when we can step up and into ourselves and really be strong in that and disconnect from all the shittery that is going on then you're literally not even a consideration for the sea because it doesn't even register you right like like attracts like so if you're on the same frequency as it you're like it if you're not on the same frequency you're less likely to get it 